So today I thought I'd try something new. I'm gonna show you how to make one of my favorite snacks. Ridiculously decadent chocolate pancakes with chocolate sauce and ice cream. For the pancakes, you will need a frying pan, obviously, a large mixing bowl, a sifter or sieve, a spatula, a ladle, a whisk, measuring scales, or if you don't have any of these, a cup will do, which I prefer using anyway. A tablespoon, milk, flour, butter, caster sugar, cocoa powder, cinnamon, and an egg. First, sift about two cups of flour into the mixing bowl, followed by about two tablespoons of cocoa, and pushing through any stubborn lumps that are giving you trouble. You can use a spoon, I prefer to use my hands. And then about four tablespoons of caster sugar. I find the rule of thumb tends to be, for every cup of flour, you use a tablespoon of cocoa. And for every tablespoon of cocoa, you use two tablespoons of caster sugar. Whisk the dried mix until the caster sugar has broken up and you have what looks like wholemeal flour. Now I did this once just to save time, but I found that one of the side effects of doing this was that the batter itself actually came out a lot lighter than if I'd waited until all the other ingredients were in there to mix it. Now add the egg and one cup of milk and whisk until all the powder has dissolved. And then splash by splash, keep adding milk until you have a light batter. And again, another rule of thumb is that when you pour the batter back, it should take about five seconds for the drip to dissipate. Once your batter is at the right consistency, add a healthy sprinkle of cinnamon and whisk, adding milk if needed. Once the batter is ready, preheat the oven at around 80 degrees. Drop a small amount of butter in a hot pan. This is probably all you're going to need throughout the whole thing. And once melted, ladle in the mix. I tend to like my pancakes quite thick, so I just let it settle on its own. But if you prefer yours a little bit thinner, then just tilt the pan and let it spread out a little. Once the edges have darkened and the top is bubbling, just gently turn it over and allow it to cook for about another minute. Once it's finished, put it on a plate in the oven and then lather, rinse, repeat until the rest of the batter is cooked. Now while these keep warm in the oven, it's time to make the chocolate sauce. For the chocolate sauce, you'll need a pot of water, a colander, a bowl, a wooden spoon, a family-sized chocolate bar, milk, butter, and cinnamon. Put the water on the hob, and while you wait for it to boil, break the chocolate up into small pieces. Once you have a rolling boil, cover the water with the colander and place the bowl inside. Melt about a teaspoon of butter and add the chocolate pieces. Allow the chocolate to sit until it begins to melt, at which point, you need to keep stirring or it will singe and stick to the bottom of the bowl. Once completely melted, add a splash of milk and stir until creamy. Now add a dash of cinnamon and add milk as needed. Once the chocolate sauce is ready, serve the pancakes with a generous dollop of ice cream and add the chocolate sauce as you see fit, however decadent you're feeling. And there it is. Melty ice cream and warm chocolate sauce on chocolate pancake goodness. Mm. I don't know if it's just because I've done it for the video or what, but I think this is the best batch I've ever done. Oh, it's non fantastic. I'll be back in a second. Well, there you go. One of my favorite snacks. I know it's not very healthy, but it is very, very delicious. I hope you enjoy making it as much as you enjoy eating it. It's so good. I guarantee it. Try it. Please try it. Until then, take care. Meet you soon. Goodbye.